What's up guys, Sneak Geek here, coming to you with another review or slash unboxing um, on the Nike LeBron 12 basketball shoe. This is the uh, Heart of a Lion colorway. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite colorways of shoes. I love their shoe so much. It looks really good on feet. And uh, let's take it out of the box. I'm not going to keep talking. So, top of the box, the 12. Indeed it is. Um, right here, your uh, information on the colorway. It is, where is the colorway? Uh, University red, black, white, and hyper crimson, size 13. And then here is the price of the shoe. A nice little loop here, a Nike swoosh. This shoe is $260 at Foot Locker or $200 or at Nike.com. I don't know, Foot Locker always sells their stuff a little bit more so they can make a profit. I don't care. It's just a couple more dollars. LeBron James on this side at the top here. His signature on the side of the box. And then on the back again, LeBron James. And that's pretty much the box. Just on the bottom. That same Nike, Nike Air. No, I'm not even going to show that. It's, it's the... So here's a little tab. You pull it up here. I'll show you guys close. Like a tab, you pull it up. And then, it's like a slide out box. So, before I get into the shoe, this shoe is not brand new. I've had this shoe uh, for a couple months now, actually. Yeah, it's been since, actually since they came out. So, a lot, uh, five, five months now, I don't know. I don't remember exactly when they came out. So, here's the shoe after this, this white paper. Let's just take the shoe out. Okay, so there's the shoe. Let's just close the box. All right. So here is the Nike LeBron 12. Let me just adjust the camera there. All right. Here is the Nike LeBron 12 Heart of a Lion colorway. And remember, everything that's on this shoe comes when you buy it. It's dead stock. I like to keep my shoes dead stock. Some of them, most of them. So on the side here, let's just do a little walk around of the shoe here. Yeah. I like this side. All right, it's a little dusty. That's okay. So on this side, we have a nice Nike swoosh. Very cool. Very nice. Icy, icy bottom. I'll get to the bottom in a second. So you see this white material goes up and up here to the heel. So this material, it's like a harder plastic material. As this is a softer rubber material. So there's the side of the shoe. It looks very clean, very clean shoe. Here on the back, LeBron James logo, and then here's a tag here. It says, Heart of a Lion, all that, just just meaningless, really, stuff. LeBron James stuff, I don't know. There's that side, and then on this side, I wish they would have done a little bit more on this side, because it looks really, really dull. Like, if I'm at school, and I have my leg up on my other leg, and, they, and people, they see this part, it's kind of dull, right? Because I want a lot of people just to see this part, because this part just looks sick. This part, you know, they didn't even kill this part. Except for this. This Nike swoosh here again on the inside of the shoe, so you can see it like that. Swoosh there. So there's the swoosh, it's like this paper type material, so it's nothing high quality, really. It's a paper type material. And um, I really like the material of this actual shoe. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a, it's hard. Like, it's not a soft material. It's a rough material. See what I mean? And then in between here, you have this nice soft, soft material right here. The lacing system. Or actually, no, up here, there's a lace cover with a LeBron James logo here and 12 dots to represent his 12th year in the NBA. And then up here on the tongue, LeBron James signature, more of that nice softer material, the lacing system. Now, it's a top shoe lacing system. Give you a side view. See that? How it's like on top of the shoe? But it still does lace up pretty well. On the inside, it should have said LeBron James the 12 or something on the inside, but obviously after wearing it for a couple months, they wear out. And um, yeah, so it's kind of a boot. It's not really a like a shoe like you normally see. It's like a boot. 
like it's it doesn't it cuts off there see where you can see that so you slip your foot in it's like a whole shoe like there's no gap between here you know that where the tongue is just just this which I kind of like it actually really looks good in the shoe all right so the bottoms now the bottom part is icy it comes with a nice icy sole when you first buy them obviously mine are a little dirty I mean I try to keep them a little bit clean right obviously because they're freaking three hundred dollar shoes with tax right so there's the nice bottom they got these nice hexagonal stuff it really gives you good grip and these are extremely extremely comfortable shoes like they like they're way more comfortable than my retro tens like these things make you feel like you're floating on the air it's it's very nice um, traction wise it's all right it stops pretty much on a dime you know maybe a little couple slip ups but that's okay so here on the bottom whoops LeBron James logo on the heel after the blue they are calling this Nike Hex Zoom I don't know if you can see that but yeah the shoe comes with inside it actually when you buy it it comes with little paper inserts that you stuff in there again I really don't like these paper inserts they just feel cheap to me I don't like stuffing these in my shoe they also come with these paper inserts cardboard Air Jordan you know stuffers whatever you want to call them in my opinion they're not really extremely well at holding the shoe up but yeah whatever I'll show you guys a different alternative and inside here way at the bottom there's the tag not for the sizing information obviously size 12 as you guys saw earlier so yeah that's pretty much the actual shoe um, this material heads up gets dirty quickly like if there's dirt on this material and you don't have the proper stuff to clean it you got to get it off as soon as possible because they, it stains I don't know why but it stains right uh, I had this part here see this part the little dirt part I tried scrubbing it scrubbing it scrubbing it with oxyclean and warm water soap and warm water it just doesn't come off it just kind of stains the material you know, that's just the only downfall about this shoe. Otherwise, it's a very stylish shoe. It goes with jeans, it goes with shorts, it goes with um, track pants, whatever you guys want to wear. It really goes with it. The icy soles are really nice on this thing. Too bad you guys can't really see them on camera. It's Everything looks better on the camera. Or everything, no, not better. Worse on the camera. So, let's get rid of this box here. I know you guys like to keep your shoes in the boxes. Um, yeah, sure it's cool and everything, but what I do with my Jordans or my my LeBrons or any of my good shoes that I paid a lot of money for, um, I keep them in a plastic container with, and hold on, I'll get to that later, actually. The sock part. So, it's not really a big container, you know, you just, like here, just like a regular shoe box. Right? Well, I got, got the lid here. Close them up. Safe, protected, very nice. Keeps away dirt, keeps disgusting stuff out. Right? It's, a, it's just a box. It's This thing is like $3 from the dollar store. It's nothing really. Sterilite bin, whatever. Here I just put it because I have a lot of other shoes in boxes. I just put LeBron 12s, size 13. I just put them in there and uh, they stay clean and stuff. So, remember I was telling you guys how I don't like this stuff. I almost said shit. Oh, I just said it. Oh, no. I don't like that paper crap. So, what I do is I'll take my shoe, my Nike LeBron 12 or my Jordans retros or whatever I have. I'll take the sock that I don't use anymore, I'll roll it up, and then stick it in there lengthwise, right? I'll stuff it in there, and it keeps the toe of the shoe, this toe box here, nice and sturdy, you know, and I'll, call, I'll shove a couple more socks in there so the whole shoe stays sturdy. Really, that's done. It's done. What else? What else? What else? What else? That's actually, that's really all I do for my LeBron 12s. I mean, I clean all my shoes the same. So I'm just going to 
to stuff these here. I'll just grab a bunch of socks and roll those shit up. And yeah, just stuff stuff them in there. Alright. Alright. Another thing. Basketball playing in the Nike LeBron 12s. They're a good shoe overall for styles. For looks, styles are the same. Uh, for basically a night out on the town, these things are friggin' amazing. They light up the whole place when you walk in. The first thing people notice is your shoes anytime they look at you, right? So you, you want to make a good, nice impression on anybody, you know? You don't know who people are. <laughs> this is a good way to make a first impression, I'll tell you that for a fact. Um... What else do I want to say about these shoes? Basketball playing in them. Ah, lacing wise, they're alright. They're not the best lace shoes on the market. You know, I prefer my Nikes, my Hyper Dunks, really, um, for playing basketball. Because, just because these are more expensive than those. I don't want to wreck these either. And just basically, when you try to tie up the shoe, it doesn't really hug your foot. It doesn't really bond into your foot you know so when you jump you'll feel it a little bit loose you know and you won't you will know you're always wearing the LeBron 12s not just because they're expensive just because they're they're a little bit big you know they're bright you know that you're wearing them and really that's all I really wanted to say about the LeBron 12s um, so yeah this is sneaky here I hope you enjoyed the unboxing slash first impressions on the Nike LeBron 12s a review of this is coming, a performance review. You're going to see me playing basketball in these shoes and just basically seeing what they can actually do. So, yeah, hope you guys like this video. And uh, please like, subscribe, throw any of your comments. And, um, yeah, please uh, just subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get this started. Uh, I have a lot of other shoes to do and a lot of other videos to make for you guys. Again, this is just for fun. I'm doing this because I'm bored. I just want to make a YouTube channel about basketball. So, yeah. So, this is Sneak Geek Out. I'll see you guys later. Peace.